When I was nine years old, there was a time when I was playing games alone at home and suddenly received a call from an unfamiliar number. I picked up the phone and listened as the person on the other end claimed to be my dad, which confused me because my dad had already passed away. Despite this, I was drawn in by the voice on the phone because it sounded so much like my dad. He told me he missed me, wanted to see me, and his voice almost made me believe him. He said he was outside waiting for me, wanting to take me somewhere I had never been before. His voice was tempting, but at the same time it made me scared. I didn't know what to do because something felt off. I tried to ask him some questions about our family, hoping he would answer something only my dad would know. But he always avoided my questions. I started feeling more and more nervous, more and more scared. I realized I had to take action to protect myself. I didn't dare hang up the phone because I was afraid he would get angry or become more dangerous. But I couldn't stay at home either because I knew I had to find help. I recalled what I had learned at school about strangers and the safety tips my mom and dad had taught me. I pretended to agree to his proposal, but I told him I needed some time to get ready. Then I pretended to go to the bathroom, but instead quietly picked up the phone at home and dialed 911. In a calm voice, I told the police what was happening, that I was at home. A stranger called me, claiming to be my deceased dad, and he wanted me to go with him. I gave them my address, then hung up the phone because I knew I had to stay quiet, not let the stranger know I had called 911. Waiting for the police to arrive, my heart was racing. I didn't know if the stranger would find me before they got there, but I tried to stay calm, not let myself panic. Finally, the police arrived. I heard their voices, felt that I was finally safe. When they came in, I explained everything and they immediately took action to track down the stranger who had called me. That night, when my mom came home, she hugged me, telling me how proud they were that I bravely handled such a dangerous situation. I knew they would protect me, but I also learned how to protect myself. This experience made me realize that even though I didn't think there was any danger being alone at home, I must always be vigilant. I learned not to trust strangers easily and how to stay calm and seek help when needed. I also knew I would never forget the voice of that stranger. It was a day I would never forget. After that experience, I became even more cautious. Every time I'm home alone, I make sure the doors and windows are locked and don't easily answer unfamiliar calls. I told my friends and classmates what happened and taught them what to do in similar situations. Mom also told me more about how to protect myself, like remembering our home address and phone number, and calling 911 immediately in dangerous situations. They also emphasized the importance of staying calm and trusting my instincts, no matter what happens. This experience not only made me grow up a lot, but also made my family more concerned about my safety at home. They often check the security measures at home, and regularly discuss with me how to deal with dangerous situations. I know how much they care about me, and I will do my best to protect myself so they don't worry. As time passed, the memory of that stranger's call gradually faded from my mind, but the lessons learned will always stay with me. I understood the vulnerability of children when facing strangers and dangerous situations, as well as the concern and worry for family safety. I hope that through my experience, I can remind more people to be vigilant, to protect themselves and their families. Now, whenever I think back to that experience, I feel fortunate that I was able to take action in time and get help. I know that no matter what happens, I have the ability to protect myself, which is the most important lesson I learned from that experience. <laughs>